We all know we're going to die, eventually. But what happens after we die? Maybe at death, you simply cease to exist. Your body turns to dust and, well, that's it. Game over. Or maybe something does happen after you die. What if life somehow continues? Maybe you're reborn as someone or something else. Then you die, then you're reborn, then you die, and so on, until you're finally enlightened and become one with the universe. Or perhaps you become a shadowy ghost, wandering in the underworld. Or maybe you're judged on how good you've been. If you've done more good than bad, you win. Here's the problem. If you're alive, there's no way to know what it's like after death. Unless someone dies, then comes back to life and tells us about it. According to his followers, that's precisely what Jesus did. If this claim is true, then he can provide us with a clear picture of what lies ahead. Jesus told us there is a heaven, but also a hell. Your response matters because your view of the next life affects how you live this life and whether you'll be prepared for what lies ahead. None of us knows when it'll be our turn. But notice, each of these after-death scenarios contradicts the others. If one is correct, the others aren't. One option is unique. Jesus Christ is the only person who actually conquered death. And Christ offers his life to you, giving you a new life that can begin now and continue after death in heaven. A life that doesn't depend on your goodness, but on his. Are you ready for death? You can be.